Hey everybody, it's the Library Lady with you featuring today's top five picks. It's about voting elections and presidents. Important right now in America as we are about to embark on our 2020 presidential election. So be sure to vote on Tuesday, November 3rd and be sure to click subscribe to the Library Lady channel so you don't miss out on the weekly top fives. This is a great way to engage your child in the voting process, how elections work and how presidents are elected. First up is blank for president. We have duck for president, splat the cat for president, and bad kitty for president. Each one of these feature the main character as they embark on the campaign trail to gain votes to become president. In fact, read them with your family and then vote which character is your favorite. Do you need an award-winning book? Vote has won the ALA Notable Children's Book Award as well as the IRA CBC Children's Choice Award. This follows a local election, talking all about the campaign trail to rallies to debates and then the election itself. Uh, I love this book because it's told in a kind of a graphic format. It has little anecdotal notes and comments from the candidates' pets along the way, creating a very fun but informative look at the voting process. Now you must read Lillian's Right to Vote. This is a powerful story of 100-year-old Lillian as she journeys to her polling place. Uh, her life has been one filled with inequality and work to bring about social justice. And every step that she takes is a reminder of the history she has seen and heard during her lifetime. It's a perfect book to engage your readers about the Voting Rights Act of 1965. And you'll really feel the passion and the power and the pride that Lillian shares as she journeys on to vote. Nonfiction anyone? If you have a child who just eats up nonfiction, loves learning facts and information, these two series are where you want to head. Weird But True is put out by National Geographic Kids. You can find lots of different topics. This one is about U.S. presidents learning weird but true facts about them. I love the kids series, Kids Presidents, is told about the childhood of American presidents. You can also find kid athletes and other kid books. And these are a great way for your learner to read about presidents as kids. The Cat in the Hat Learning Library has been featured on What's the Story before on the Library Lady channel, so be sure to check those out. But I love the Learning Library because the topics are nonfiction and you can learn in a very simple and easy way about voting. Um, there's a glossary at the back, but your readers are really going to fall in love with the Cat in the Hat as his presentation comes on voting. Now, if you're still feeling like you need more books, I've thrown in two bonuses. Amelia Bedelia's first vote, if you're familiar with that character, and you can learn about her journey as she gets her first vote, as well as the Night Before Election Day. If you've never seen the Night Before series, there are lots. This one is about Election Day, followed after the traditional holiday poem, The Night Before Christmas. This is the journey into Election Day. Now hold on guys, wait for this, it's a double bonus today. Dan Gutman, who I follow on Instagram, had posted about his book, Election, A Kid's Guide to Picking Our President. So I thought, why not check it out? It's got 120 questions and answers about elections. Um, and Dan Gutman quoted on his Instagram page, why America goes crazy every four years. Your child will learn that as they read this book. It's a great way to find out lots of information about the election. So that's all. Thanks for tuning in this week to the top five picks. Make sure you vote. Click subscribe so you don't miss out on these videos. And the What's the Story is featured two times a week. Thanks so much and happy reading.